Hello and welcome to this video for managing your practice supplies through PCSE Online. My name is Ryan Taylor and I work within the communications team at PCSE. And my name is Marie Patterson and I work within the supplies team at PCSE. Before you can use PCSE Online to submit an order, it is important to ensure that you've been set up correctly on the system to ensure that you have the right permissions to submit and manage your practice supply orders. So in this video, we'll be giving you an insight into how you can get the most out of PCSE online when it comes to ordering your practice supplies. We'll also be running through some handy hints and tips uh, that will help you to avoid any unnecessary challenges. So uh, let's get started. So Marie, just to start then, who exactly within a practice is able to order supplies? Well, basically anyone, Ryan, that's got the role of main contact or practice order entry clerk. And the main contact has actually got the permissions to update the roles on PCSE Online and they don't actually have to contact Primary Care Support England. So to update a user's permissions, the main contact has to click on the user management tab. And then from there, you would enter in the user's email address and you would click apply. From there, you would then click on the username, which will then take you to the screen where you can update the permissions. From there, you would click on practice order entry clerk and then update. And if you want to create a new user, by logging on to PCSE Online, click on User Management and then Create User. You will then have all the mandatory tabs that all the information has to be inputted before you're able to create that user. So once you have created a new user, a verification link will be sent to the registered email address and that link is valid for 72 hours. So Marie then, how exactly can a user log into PCSE Online and what should they do if they've forgotten their password? So they can log in by going to the pcse.england.nhs.uk and from there they would click in the login tab at the top, which would then take them to the sign in page. So when they click on the login tab, it then takes you to this screen where they would put in the username, which will be their email address and then the password. Now you did say, Ryan, what if you do forget your password? Well, yeah. you just click on the link that says forgotten your login details. It will then take you to this screen where you put in your email address and then reset password. And a link will then be sent to the email address that we have registered on the system for you. So just be aware, a password reset link is valid for 24 hours. So when requesting a link, please check your registered email inbox. So Marie, can you explain exactly what a username is? Yeah, so a username is typically an email address, Ryan, unless you're working for an optical contractor for submitting GOS claims, then that would be a username which would be specific to that user. They would then create that and that would be the username to log in with. And when you're set up with a username, which is an, an email address, they'll have to speak to the optical administrator, who's the one that can give them a temporary password by logging on to PCSE Online. What that temporary password does, it get, enables the user to then create a password of their own choice. So Marie, looking at PCSE Online now, I can actually see there's a few options that I could click on. What exactly are these options? What can I do there? Uh, I'm going to run through them now with you, Ryan. So when you log on to PCSE Online, you have three tabs, as you said, Ryan. You've got auto supplies. Now, when you click on that tab, that gives you a catalog of products that is available for you to order for your organisation. You will have the quantity. So there is a minimum and a maximum amount of, of products that you can order. You will add it to the basket. Once you place the order into the basket, once you click on the basket icon at the top, it will then take you to the screen. What you do is you would then review the items that you've placed. If you're happy with all of that, then you click on submit on behalf of and you submit the order. So then we've got recently ordered products. 
when you click on that tab, that will give you all the products that have been ordered recently for your organisation. You then have track orders. And what that enables is it gives you a list of all the orders that have been previously ordered for that organisation. So you can see if an order is due to be delivered or if it has been delivered yet. Just to point out, if you click on the All tab, this will show all orders regardless of the status, where the other tabs will show you orders at those specific stages. So, Marie, if I'm linked to more than one practice and I need to order supplies for a particular practice that I'm linked to, how do I actually do that? How do I order supplies for a specific practice in PCSP Online? So when you're linked to more than one organisation, Ryan, you'll have at the top corner that will say change organisation. And then from there, you just select the right organisation that you're wanting to place an order for, for stationery for that practice. So when a practice user is ordering supplies through PCSA Online, how do they find the right product or how do they know which quantity to choose? OK, so when they log on to PCSA Online and they click on order supplies, there is a search function that they can put in keywords. So if it was like needles, for example, 23G, they could put in 23G. If they have the product code because they've ordered it previously, they can type in the product code. From there, once they click on that product, they'll have a minimum and a maximum amount of product that they can order. Now, if they do have to order more than the maximum amount, they will have to go on to the PCSE website. So, Marie, when I placed an order through PCSE online, when should I expect these supplies to be delivered? So, when you log on to PCSE online, you will see on the home screen page what your expected delivery date will be. And this is generally the same day every week. It doesn't change. Now, if you are going to be placing an order, when you do, it will give you an expected delivery date. Now, that will we will endeavour to deliver that within that time scale. Sometimes it can take longer if there is shortages of products. With the urgent orders, we will aim to deliver them within two working days, which is dependent on stock availability. So you can order personalised prescription pads but they take up to three weeks to arrive because they are pending printing. So they get printed by another company and they take three weeks to arrive. If you are placing an urgent order, we would advise that you would do it two weeks before just to ensure that you've got enough stock until your next delivery day. So if I start using PCSE online more regularly, how can I keep up to date with any product changes that may be made? Um, so when you log on, Ryan, to PCSE Online, there is a news tab. And what that is, is that ensures you that you're not missing any important information regarding PCSE updates. Um, as I said, there's two ways you can do that. When you log on to your PCSE Online, there's a news tab at the bottom. Or if you go onto the PCSE website, which is PCSE.com, .england.nhs.uk and click on the news tab. That will also tell you important information about updates. Marie, thank you very much for running through all that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, just if anyone has got any further questions that they would like to ask, then they can email the supplies team on pcse.supplies-leads at nhs.net. Thank <laughs> you.